What's going on, it's your boy TP Dell? Welcome back to another video. Today, we are going to discuss 10 simple ways to look and feel better. Now, some of these things you might already know, they might seem kind of simple, but if you just take one thing from all of this, I'm gonna feel like I did my damn job. This is in no in particular order, but we're gonna pop it off with getting a hair cut. Getting a haircut can do so much for you. It doesn't matter what kind of barbershop you go to, but once you get that haircut, you go in there and you feel the atmosphere of the barbershop. You hear that barbershop talk. You getting your face shaved or trimmed up or shaped up. You got your beard gang, beard aligned. You getting your hair cut so everything looking smooth and crisp. It is a total transformation. You literally walk out of there feeling like a brand new person. Unless somebody mess your hair cut up or they push your line up back. You feel me? My, my line up ain't really pushed back. That, that's just an all natural big forehead. But y'all know what I'm saying. Go in there and get you a haircut. If somebody come to your house and cut your hair or you go to somebody else, get your hair cut. Trim your face up, shave up. Once you look clean, you're going to feel better because when you look good, you do good. And when you do good, you feel good. The next thing I would tell people is to work out. Get in the gym. Work out on your fitness. And if you can't start your day with it, because a lot of times you be like, oh, I'm going to work out at the end of the day. I'm going to work out after work. I'm going to work out after school, whatever, whatever. You be tired. You know what I'm saying? That's just mandatory. You with a group of people, you're on a team or something. You're going to be tired of telling you, like, ah, I'm not going to work out. I'm going to just do it tomorrow. You're going to keep pushing that joint. Try to work out in the morning. You think you're going to be tired. You're too tired to do it. Once you get up, you get that workout in, you're going to feel more energized. You're going to feel better. And no matter what workout you do, you, you get that little initial pump after you work out. So you're going to walk around like a whole new damn person anyway. So get your ass in the gym. Go out and run. Get on the bicycle. Do a pump. Do anything. Some kind of fitness. Yoga. Calisthenics. Figure it out. It's going to help out. Listen to some music. Music really controls your feeling and your mood. I look at it like this. Sometimes even when I'm dropping, if I'm listening to stronger music, like if the music hit too hard and it's too strong, too tough, and y'all know what I mean by that. I feel like I developed like some road rage, and I want to speed, and I want to do this. But if I'm listening to a different type of music, I can relax and chill. So whatever mood you're trying to get yourself in or get yourself out of, you know what kind of music you need to listen to. And it don't got to be new music, you feel me? You can listen to some throwbacks. You can listen to some old, you ever hear a song, and it makes you think about a place you were, or a point in time you were in your life, put you some throwbacks on that thing and jam. Play something that'll make you happy, make you smile. Play something you know the words to. When you know all the words, man, that feel good. You damn near having car karaoke by yourself. So if you're in a rut, you're feeling bad, music can definitely play a large part in getting up out of that or having to make you feel a little bit better or giving you the energy to do something that you really didn't feel like doing. Now, fellas, if y'all follow me on Instagram and y'all be watching my story, y'all already know I'm heavy on this. It's not soft. I'm trying to tell you, it's good for your mind, body, soul, your skin, everything. Start treating yourself. Take baths. Go to the spa. Have a spa day once a month, every other month, whatever you can afford. If you can't afford it, go online. Go on Groupon. They got the deals. But start taking care of yourself, catering to yourself, loving on yourself. It's so much, even if you can't afford a spa day, you can do your own damn spa day. You can go to Five Below, get a couple of essentials, get a couple bath bombs. The bath bombs? Bruh, I'm telling you, make your skin soft. You're going to be smelling good. You get in there, take that deep breath. Get whatever you like. You can get some lavender. You can get whatever you like and get that. It's going to make you feel better. It's going to calm you down. And some people are like, oh, I don't have enough time for a bath bomb. Man, you got time. Make time. Don't go in there and be all on your phone. Put, put some nice music on, soft music on, and just chill and relax. Don't do nothing that's going to stress you out or having you think about a to-do list. Just go in there, take a bath, put a bath bomb in there, put some Epsom salt in there if your muscles are sore, you got any, any pains or aches, and just relax for 20 or 30 minutes, fam, and just chill. Me, personally, I like to get in there, put some Epsom salt in there, put my bath bombs in there, light a candle, turn all the lights off in there, and then I listen to some soft music. Or I'll put on church and just listen to the audio, a little 20, 30 minute church joint, or some meditation and just vibe and just relax. I'm, I'm big on, I'm big on bath, I'm big on self care. Try it out. You wanna look better, you wanna feel better. It's all gonna start right here in between your head. Meditation, meditation is key. A lot of people think about meditation and be like, oh, I don't have time for meditation. You can easily find you a five, 10 minute 
15 minute video on YouTube and follow along and meditate. It is that easy. You got a girl, y'all going through something. You got your family, you got brothers and sisters. Ayo, hey, let's meditate together. Let, let's do something every Monday. Let's call it, let's call it med meditation Mondays. You can do something like that. Just have it go every week, every other week, once a month. Meditation is gonna clear your mind, help you with flexibility. It's gonna help you deal with negative emotions, dealing with stress relief. It'll increase your self-awareness. It'll help with your creativity. It'll help with your patience. You can research what meditation will do for you, man. So many pros to meditating. Get out there and meditate. Yoga and or stretching. I do both. I need to do more yoga because my lower back is shot, man. My lower back about 82 years old. I ain't even gonna cap with y'all. But yoga and stretching is, is huge also. You can find a YouTube video. Quick 30 minute yoga session, 60 minute yoga session. You can do it. It's, it's easy, it's on the internet. Somebody can follow along with and it's free. All you gotta do is YouTube it or Google it. Definitely already know stretching is gonna help with flexibility, which ultimately is gonna help your muscles and it'll even strengthen your muscles over a period of time. Stretching will definitely prevent injury um, and I think it would probably help with like weight reduction a little bit. And by doing yoga and stretching, who, who doesn't want to increase their energy? It's definitely going to help you do that. And if you're an athlete, it should increase your performance as well. So get out there, get your yoga on, become a yogi, get your stretching on and just watch how you feel. Stre I'm going to tell you all this right now, no cap. Stretch in the morning and stretch before you go to bed, regardless of what, whatever, and see how you feel. See how your body feels. Do it for one week consistently and be like, damn, I do feel a lot better. I sleep better. I wake up better. I get my day started better. Just do it for a week and see how you feel. Take 10 mindful breaths. That means just sit there and in and out. Calm your mind. Calm your emotions. Calm your body. You are enough. You are love. That was only three right there. Do about 10 of those joints. And when you breathe in, hold that joint. And when you breathe out, you should be breathing out twice as long as you're breathing. And just relax. Try not to think. No negative thoughts. You should be thinking all good stuff in your head, like some of the stuff I recited while I was. Um, and and just, just try to focus on the positive. It's always going to be negative. You're blessed, bitch. You woke up today. Your fingers and toes working. You're moving around. It, it can always be worse. So just try to look at the positive more than the negative. It's so easy to get up and be like, I gotta do this, I gotta do that, I gotta do this, I gotta do that. But damn, look at what you took care of. Like, you know what I'm saying? Look look at how much you accomplished. Look at some of them goals you already killed. Like a lot of times we have goals, we set this, we set that, and we do them, and we just on to the next. We don't even look and, and sit and, and, and look at what we've done, what we've accomplished. So give yourself a pat on the back sometime, relax, Take 10 deep breaths, just take a break. If, if you're working, you stress out of work, go to the bathroom. Take, take, Go out, get some fresh air. Look at the damn trees, appreciate nature. That's gonna help you feel better and look better. Cause when you're not, when you're not doing well, bitch, all of that shit is, uh, I'm sorry, all of that stuff is, is on your face. Like it can be seen. Like, you know what I mean? You can't, you can't hide not feeling well. You put that little fake smile, but somebody that know you, they gonna pee. Now I know this one's gonna be funny cause I'm, I be making fun of people like this. Like when they get lonely, or they be hurt, they go buy animals. Like they, they got three cats and two dogs. But literally, animals make people happy. So you know what I'm saying? You got a cat, you got a dog. Get, get a bird, get a guinea pig, get a little animal. You feel me? That's gonna appreciate you and you gonna appreciate it. Nothing like seeing somebody excited to see you at the whole time. Them damn dogs be, be so hyped. But yeah, I think animals make people happy. Happier. So yeah, you wanna get a little animal or something, don't, don't feel bad. Even though I be making jokes on it sometimes. Get your little animal or something, get a little dog, a little cat, a little something smaller. And or oh, 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 go play with somebody else's cat or dog. Just go have fun, man. That's it. Get dressed up. Take some time. Put on some nice clothes. Put on a nice outfit. Get dressed up. Look good. This is gonna change your whole mind frame. That's an easy way. Put on something nice. And you might be thinking to yourself, but T, I, I don't have any any nice clothes. I, I don't I don't have any like nice stuff to dress up in. Fam, it's okay. That's cool. All you gotta do is put on a regular outfit, but just make sure you iron it and make sure it's crisp. All right. Even if your shoes old, wipe them hoes down. That alone is gonna make you feel better. If you are wrinkled, you fail. Iron your, your damn clothes. Don't be lazy. Put the little water in the steam and iron them clothes. Because wrinkles, got, when you see somebody that's wrinkled as hell, no matter how nice the clothes is or whatever they got going on, wrinkles give off the sense that you don't care about your life and you don't really shower that much. And when I see wrinkles, that, that's, that's what I think. They, they love to cut the grass right when I'm shooting YouTube videos. And last but not least, another way to look good and feel better is to have a nice smile. Take care of your teeth, brush your teeth, floss, rinse. It took me a while to figure this out, but I didn't been through Invisalign. I, I literally have braces on right now. I don't know if y'all peeping, hear me swearing, but um, you want to smile when you have a nice smile. Like, I used to laugh. I ain't like how my teeth look. I used to laugh like this, ha, 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 like covering my mouth up and all that stuff. But take care of your teeth, 
Make sure you got a nice smile. Invest in yourself in so many other different ways to have a nice smile or get braces or whiten your teeth or do whatever you wanna do to have that nice smile these days and it's so much more affordable. And think about it like this, like when you smile, like, you know what I'm saying, you can make other people smile. Sometimes be like, oh damn, he happy as hell right now. This person's happy, oh that's a nice smile, let me smile back. Just smile, bitch, don't walk around with that I'm not friendly, I'm having a bump day, better not nobody talk to me move. If you feel that way, you might need to breathe, take, take the little 10 breaths I did earlier, and stay your ass in the house and away from people until you get it together, because that negative en energy is contagious, and ain't nobody got time for that. You feel me? You gotta be the light. Be the light in the room, baby. Don't come in that whole dim in the room down. Be the light in the room. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. They still out here cutting grass. If you got anybody you can share this with, share this with them. If this helped you in some kind of way, or if I missed something, or other ways you can make yourself happy, or, you, or other things you do to look better, leave that in the comment section below also. I appreciate y'all rocking with me. Thanks for watching all the way through. New main channel video up. The skit is up. And we lit, man. I'ma see y'all next time. All right, subscribe.